also used on these cards. I guess maybe I should have showed you one of the cards first. So here's our first card. Make today ridiculously awesome. And I love that like bold, bold sentiment, right? So I wanted to use some kind of bold paper with it also. Oh, Sharon, oh, your craft room is still empty. She says, I miss it very much. Ah, oh, but you're going to be able to put it back together very soon. That's awesome. Yeah, so then you're going to be so organized, right? When you get to get back in your craft room, everything's going to have like the right place for it. You're going to, oh yeah, you're going to love that once you can get it all back in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start making this card. I am so worried that I have forgotten something. And I guess if I have, I will just run back and get it. Um, so we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so, and we kind of did some fun folds too, right? Um, so, this is super fun, right? Woo, how fun is that? <laughs> anyway, it's just a little bit different, right, than we normally do. But so, this is the card base, right? So, our Knight of Navy card base, that's it right there, right? So, normally it's an eight and a half by 11. This one, you do cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, but this time you kind of lop off at the eight and a half inch side, you lop it off at seven inches. So it ends up being five and a half by seven inches. And then you still score it at your four and a quarter along the original eight and a half now turned to seven. You still score it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's your Knight of Navy card base, just like that, right? Then we have, Oh, I thought I lost it. Our designer series paper, that's gonna go right there. This DSP measures two and a half by five and a quarter. And then Whisper White for the inside are standard four by five and a quarter there, okay? So, and then I just have another kind of a scrap piece of Whisper White to um, do our sentiment, to stamp our sentiment on, so. Okay, let's see, I think we have everything, right? Okay, so let's, um, let's do our stamping for our make today ridiculously awesome and actually we can put our stars um, on there too i didn't think i was going to be stamping off the edge of anything so i didn't have my little i had a little grid paper handy but i am let's see here we go my little scrap grid paper <laughs> So because my stars are going to kind of go off the edge here. So first of all, we're going to use the Granny Apple Green ink. Ah, you just ordered the DSP today too. That's awesome, Susan. And you guys know this, the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? All of the color coordination. So Knight of Navy in our DSP. That's why I picked a Knight of Navy card base. We've got Granny Apple Green right there in our DSP. So I'm using my Granny Apple Green ink. And then actually this is kind of Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. So that's why I went with um, Coastal Cabana ink on our sentiment there. Okay. So definitely one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is that color coordination, right? Okay. So we've got our granny apple green. And it's funny how this happened to me when I made this card the other day. It looks so dark at first. So can you see that? Like, look at that compared to that, doesn't it? Maybe in the light you can't see so much, but it, it definitely kind of tones down um, once um, it dries. Yeah, it is a good masculine card, you're right. It's funny, because Susan, I didn't even look at it like that, but you're right, it is with the, the blues and the greens. Yeah, you could, yeah, definitely make that a masculine card too. It's funny that I didn't think of it like that, so. Okay, so then, let's see, we're gonna use our Coastal Cabana ink actually scoot this guy out of the way and we've got our make today ridiculously awesome so we're gonna ink that up gonna stamp right there beautiful right love that make today ridiculously awesome haha <laughs> wouldn't we all right why not let's make every day ridiculously awesome <laughs> okay so here I'm just like moving stuff around so I am going to cut this baby out now. So have you guys seen, Sharon was the one um, at our meeting, gosh, was it even last month? Anyway, maybe in June, that she said, have you guys seen, these are the um, Hippo and Friends dies. So they coordinate with the stamp set that Jenny just one, right? This hippo happiness stamp set. So we've got um, dies that'll cut out the hippo and the unicorn and the lamb, right? Um, but then we also have, so here we go. 
those guys right there and there's the little lamp but look at all of these others like you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten different label dies in here too and then some fun little flowers a little squiggly guy and all these other little um, extra bits and pieces too so this is like an amazing set of dies as well a label dies right so in addition to coordinating with the hippo stamp set right you've got all of these awesome labels so even if you don't if you're not into hippos you still need this die set because look at i'm going to show you another i used a couple of these or actually one of them i'll show you in a sec um, i was kind of looking at um, making this card a little bit different and i used i think it was that die right there too so i'm going to show you that in a minute after we die cut this and i get it out of the way because it, it looked, I thought, oh, that would be another good possibility too. So, okay, in the meantime, we're using, this is like the largest, this is like, right? <laughs> I sound like I'm a teenager. Um, the largest in this shape of uh, the dies, right? Okay, so we're just popping that on there. We're gonna make our cut here super quick and easy. And one more crank apparently, Amy. Okay, let's pop that right over there. Okay, so back to our card. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, so before I put this on, I'm gonna show you what I was kind of alluding to. But in the meantime, here we go, we're gonna... Okay, so I have learned the trick. First of all, you have to make sure that it's ready to go. And I loved, I can't remember who, maybe it was Nikki who shared with us. Um, if you don't have stickiness right there, you can always go to a point that's got some sticky and it's almost like it helps draw it along rather than having to advance it with your finger. But that, you have to do that. Somehow you have to get the stickiness um, back on there to get it to roll. Otherwise you kind of keep pressing on your stamp and seal and you can break it. You don't want to do that, right? Okay. So then we're gonna put this little baby on the inside. And I have, I am still kind of going with my flick of the wrist like I did with my fast fuse. I found for me, and somebody was saying I hold it different and I, I still need to look and see how I'm holding it. <laughs> it's just what I do. Um, it, it, that's the way it's working for me, I guess is what I'm trying to say, so, okay. We are gonna put a couple of dimensionals just on the top part of this. You don't want to put them down here because we're going to have it. It's going to go on right about like that. I might put one maybe right there just to kind of keep it balanced, right? So that's going to go right there. But I have to show you guys. Sorry, things are like flitting all over here. Place. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Erica. Yes, from Pink Buckaroo. Okay, so this is the other one, though. So can you see? So this is um, like the one of the label punches. But can you see the detail around that one it is that die right there right so this would be another fun you could do this let faith let your faith be bigger than your fear that would work really well on there as well so i wanted to show you guys that and can you kind of see because there's stitching around there too if we get it in the right light are we going to be able to see it or i don't know if we are anyway I love, I love that shape too with the, mm, just all the little scallopy details. So another good option for you, right? We are going to go back to just because this is what I was showing you guys. So I want to put this one on our um, blog post too. So there we go. Okay, so we've got that. And then last couple little last um, finishing touches. We are using, this is the Flowers for Every Season, part of the Ribbon Combo Pack. So this is actually um, Misty Moonlight and White with a little bit of silver, Baker's Twine. Um, but I'm going to double this over like that, and then we're going to make a bow. So you kind of just act like, people always wonder, how do you make a double bow? Well, you just loop it I'm trying to figure out if that's enough that's the only thing you have to try to figure out right but you just loop it together so you got two strings instead of one and then you just work with it as if um, you just have one um, one piece of twine instead of two so the probably the hardest part is getting those two bits through the loop but that's about it hello miss sue hello in ohio Thank you for joining us. I hope things are good down in Ohio. Yeah, okay. I could futz with that for a while. We're not gonna do that though. Okay, so we're gonna just do that and that. Cut everything off. 
And what I do have my mini glue dots, that is good. Oh, yeah, Sharon, I think it's not brandy. I think it is, um, mm, now I'm drawing a blank. Because actually Brandy Cox just reached her $3 million in sales. She's the first one in Stampin' Up! History, amazing, right, to um, get to $3 million. But I think this one is um, uh, Cardin, Robin, Robin Cardin. I think this is the die set, the hippo dies. Um, Robin, who also reached million dollars. Yes, and Jamie's saying the same thing too. Well, you know, these girls are all fabulous and they're all um, cute blondes too. Jamie, or yeah, well, Jamie's a cute blonde too, who's telling us, right? But um, Robin and Brandy are both cute blondes and they are they are very good at what they do. That is for sure. Um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, so um, it was um, Robin who designed those dies, I think, or had help from Stampin' Up too. They, they get help from Stampin' Up because actually, now that you're saying that, this is, and you, whenever you see that little logo right there, this is a million dollar stamp set that Rhonda Wade, who's right here in Michigan, um, that she designed this stamp set. So um, yeah, lots of million dollar achievers these days, which is so, so cool, right? Okay, so here we have, these are my, um, <laughs> yes, Robin Pink Stamper. Oh, awesome, Miss Nikki, yes. Yes, very cool. I didn't realize that Robin was your upline. Yes, I've met her a couple of times. She's awesome. Lots of energy, lots and lots of energy, right? <laughs> okay, so we are using not the frosty ones. We're going to use the clear epoxy droplets. And you're right, it is fabulous nevertheless, for sure, Miss Sharon. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of... Um, pop these. I'm going to put a couple of them. Just have to kind of dig underneath there. You can use your paper snips. Um, you can use a paper piercing tool. I don't know. If you have a little fingernail, I think that's about all I need. You just have to make sure you get the glue dot off of here when you pop it on there. So I kind of liked the idea, like this is a little bit of silvery glittery that kind of coordinates with the silvery glittery, right? Oops, are we in view? Um, with our baker's twine too. So there's our first card, cute, simple. You can still have lots of room to write in there. Make today ridiculously awesome. Let's do it, ladies. Or you could do that one. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. I think they're both great. Okay, so that's card number one. Let's scoot some stuff out of the way. And I'll show you guys.